What's up guys, so before we get to today's vlog, let's chat. So while I was at Dutch Wonderland, I asked myself, how close is Dutch Wonderland to me compared to Hershey Park? As you guys know, I've always claimed Hershey Park as my home park, even though Six Flags America is technically closer to me, but for obvious reasons, I won't claim that as my home park. But that's a topic for another video. So when I asked myself that question while I was at Dutch Wonderland, I wanted to do some research. So I did a little looking into it and here are my results. I need a minute. No. Well, hello there. What's up everybody? We are at Dutch Wonderland today. I am only here for the credits, I promise. Plus, this is Matt's My Childhood Park. Yes. Woo! So, I've never been here ever in my life. Main credit that I'm looking forward to the most is whatever this thing is. I don't even know what the thing is called, but it looks kind of fun. But we want to just check it out. We got about three hours in the park, so let's get to it. Let's feel I'm the magic. I'm smiling, but you can't see. Jeez. So this is apparently the coaster that Matt Marathon when he was a kid like 20 times in a row. Yeah, I remember each time that I got off it, I was like, again, again. And it looks like it's a station wait, so we probably could do that again. A brave soul going in the front row. He might get his end ride. We'll see. All right, well, the joust was bumpy. Yes, the transitions on this thing are god-awful, actually. <laughs> I think the correct word to use would be very jolty. Yeah, that would whiplash. be Whiplash. Yes, whiplash all the way. <laughs> I mean, check out this transition right here. You don't even have to see the train run, and look at the track on this part right here. What is this thing doing with its life? What is going on here? All right, it's time for King the Cop. Oh, wait, Kingdom Coaster. Close enough, right? All right, Kingdom Coaster was, I mean, it's a small wooden family coaster, but not bad for what it was, though. I mean, Matt loved it, though. I loved it. I don't like coasters. It wasn't too much, but it wasn't too boring. There were actually a few airtime hills on that. I was not expecting that. We did the back row. I mean, nothing crazy or anything, but some tiny pops of airtime. It was cute. All right, let's get double moist. We're on a log flume. So intense. Splash Mountain 2. You dabbing? Did I do it right? How do you do it? Like that? Yeah, I guess so. Whatever the kids are doing these days. We're in a tunnel now. Hold on, hold on, do it again. Close enough. Comment down below, is that right or not? I don't know how to dab. You don't dab. We didn't get very wet on this. No, we didn't. No, don't. How you feel now? Moist. Rest in peace, my steel vengeance mask. He's desecrating it. <laughs> So we just found a little shaded bench area. It's pretty nice here, actually. Well, Matt enjoys his Rita's. We've got the clown of Dutch Wonderland over here. <laughs> Zen ride on a boat. Let's do it. Welcome to the boat. Stay a while. And we're off to the races on a boat. I love cattails. They're nice to poof. So I am wondering, who's driving this boat? Are we being guided by a ghost? <laughs> Who are you? It's the butt end of Dino Land. Well, we got low Brits coming up here. Um, I guess duck. 
Holy crap. What if you were tall and you couldn't make that clearing? My head, like, my hair was touching the top of that bridge. No, I'm just surprised that they didn't have a sign that says, like, wash your head or duck. Looks like we cut the butt end of another joke. Watch your head one more time. Oh more butt end jokes. Alright, these diners are speaking to us from the boat. We shall go see what they got to say to us. Want to do some exploration? Yes, I do. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. It sounds uh, like you. He's made of rubber. Feels weird. Well then, come to daddy. No. Give me a kiss, baby. They put reverb on it. <laughs> what do you want? That's what you get. Ow! All right, I think we're done in Dino Land now, so we're going to head off to the rest of the. Run, run. All right, let's go pike our turn on Sunico, whatever it is. Fabulous. Mass driving. May God have mercy on my soul. Uh, ow. Ow. Texting and driving, baby. That's against the law. Matt, you hear that? Dinosaur. Ah! Dinosaur. Well, if this isn't a description of our ride, I don't know what is. Christmas lights. Christmas lights. It's a little early for Christmas. Get ready for what? Ah! Okay, that was probably the bumpiest monorail I've ever been on in my life. I couldn't get any good footage from on top of it, but whatever. I think it could also be your camera, because when I was taking video, it was completely stable. Would well, you have an iPhone that has self-stabilization in it? This does not. This don't have stabilization? No. Oh, yeah. oh I thought it did. Nope. Anyway, on to Merlin's Mayhem, which is the coaster I'm most excited to ride. But oh, gift shop. Yes, gift shop. But I don't think Matt's riding this thing. No, I'm not riding. So I'm riding solo. Alright, well, Merlin's Mayhem was pretty much what I expected it to be, just a little family invert. I've never ridden in a family invert before. It wasn't bad or anything, but just kind of underwhelming, but fun, I guess. Well, apparently I forgot that I was a vlogger while I was at Dutch Wonderland that day. I apparently forgot to film an outro. This is seriously the first time it's ever happened to me. All this time I've been going to parks, I've always remembered to film an outro and film even a park exit montage, but for whatever reason, I just completely spaced out on this park day, so just gonna film a little outro from home, I suppose. So I know that Dutch Wonderland is just a kid's park, it's not meant for a diehard coaster enthusiast like myself, but I will say that the park had a little bit of a charm to it, and it was cute. That's really all I have much to say about it. Ryan from Post, which is kind of me, Ride count right here. And we only had three hours in the park too, and I think we got a lot done in three hours. And the day was actually kind of cut short because about a half hour before the park closed, they closed all the rides down because there were storms coming in, which actually never happened. All right guys, I wrapped the video up here. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next loop. See you guys.